Here we are in the Presidio in San Francisco on a nice foggy June day. If we were looking at the winter period, we'd see a nice blue sky, the Golden Gate Bridge lifting up behind us. But as you can see, here we are bathed in fog that's coming off the Pacific Ocean, a common thing that we see here in San Francisco every single summer. The Presidio receives a great deal of fog. And in fact, I think it's probably one of the reasons why we have such large trees, why this area stays so green during the summertime. The reason why the Bay Area, I think, is really an interesting area for fog formation is it's an interaction of what's going on in the Pacific Ocean, the diverse topography that we have here in the Bay Area, the opening of the Golden Gate and the fact that we have a connection between the Central Valley and right here in the Bay Area in San Francisco. And all those things together sort of conspire to lead to the features that allow us to hit the dew point, to hit the point where condensation occurs either in the Central Valley or here on the coast. And so we're constantly being exposed to these sort of clouds on the ground. Two types of fog here in the Bay Area or in California in particular, advection fog near the coast and what we call radiation fog, which is what we would see like in the Central Valley of California during the winter time. Advection fog, uh, one of the fogs that we experience every summer, forms due to the interaction of moist air flowing over a cold ocean from that upwelling. You hit what we call the dew point, the point where condensation occurs, mist forms, and it gets advected onto land, or basically pulled onto land from heat rising in the Central Valley and conveying into the city. And what we call radiation fog, which is in the Central Valley, generally forms during the winter time when you get a very cold ground and heat that rises at night and you get again that dew point you hit the mist and it's very low it usually only gets about three or four hundred feet off the ground really cold and of course it's the stuff of some massive traffic accident problems during the winter time in the central valley So the most recent studies we've been doing on fog are showing that fog has declined over about the last 58 to 60 years by 33% here along the coast of California. We've done a number of very recent analyses of hourly weather records from about 115 different weather stations throughout California. We've looked at airport records of visibility. Some people might view the fog decline as good news, particularly here if you live here in the Bay Area and you're used to the famous Mark Twain quote, the coldest winter I ever spent was a summer in San Francisco, and of course that's because of the fog. Where the twist comes in is that it's going to affect the ecology of the state in a very significant way. So we might like those warmer, less foggy days, but the plants are certainly not going to like it or the animals or other things that depend on this coastal fog to bathe the trees, to bathe the ecosystem every summer with this extra bit of water. What this means for the redwoods is they are now going to be experiencing a really different set of climatic conditions than they've normally been used to. They're really used to having these cool, moist summers. Well, if those summers now are starting to go away, how does it affect the mature trees that are already established in the redwood forest here in California? But also, probably more importantly, is how is it going to affect those new seedlings? If they see a drier, warmer, less foggy summer, are we going to get less recruitment of new forests? And so, 100 years from now, 500 years from now, we may not have the redwood forest that we experience today.